Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last session we completed up as much of the Hinterland stuff as we can for now. Still th some things left to do, but uh, they are a bit too high level for us at the moment. So it is back to Haven and uh, we are about to head back in and see what we can do I guess with the war table stuff. Uh, but first I'm pretty sure I have some upgrades that I could make. Uh, for Varric stuff especially. Uh... Do, do, do. Where is Bianca? Here we go. Uh, can I equip? Oh, right. I've already got, like, strong grip, sturdy Bianca grip. So that swaps plus four strength, plus three cunning. Hmm. I thought I got some better stuff. I guess I didn't. I could have sworn I had some stuff which was better. Huh. Now, don't you worry about I guess I didn't. Is there anything I want to craft? Like, sturdy apprentice coat? What do I- I don't even know what I currently- What's- what's my current gear worth? I'm not even sure. Uh... What does it say in the inventory? My current armor, uh, is 94. So it could turn out better, I guess, is what that's saying. This is 89 to 104, so it could theoretically be better, but like, eh. Most of it's just worse. Yeah, let's not bother with that. Uh, we already did all this, right? Yeah. Right. Pretty sure we already talked. To him a whole bunch. Come on, you've seen our mounts. Most of them should be pulling plows. Didn't all grow up with fancy noble horses on the boat. You ride whatever. Oh, what's this? Choose a mount. Ferelden Forder. Oh, there's a whole bunch of mounts you can get? What are these? Fierce, loyal, and not quite tame, just the way the Avar prefer. Fast and resilient, these horses of Ravani stock are used by the Kunari military for carrying messages to outposts across the war torn island of Seheron. Does it change? Oh wow, okay, it changes in here, so you can see what we're getting. I mean, that helmet thing looks dumb as fuck, so let's not do that. Whoops. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Uh, what about these? Do I have any of these? I do. Mountain Dracolisk. Teeth sharper than winter wind, but a steady beast for a bold enough rider. I wonder if these are DLC stuff. Oh wow, okay. I think this must be, like, Game of the Year edition stuff. Greater Frostback Elk. Oh, that is gorgeous. Uh, an Exotics. Avar War Nug. Famed for its ability to strike fear into those unfortunate enough to face them in battle. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, it's such a chunky boy! A War Nug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was the other one? The Oath-Bound Steed. Promise bound by an augur long ago. It will not depart this world with its oath unfulfilled. It's a unicorn. Wait, no, it's not a unicorn. It's got a nail driven through it? Oh, that just seems sad. What the fuck? Oh, no. We're going with the chunky boy. We're going with the chunky boy. What a very good chunky boy you are. Yes, you are. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, that is, that is fucking excellent. Excellent. All right. Uh, we have a exclamation mark over here, apparently. What have we got new over here? Special shipments is new. What? No, it didn't give me anything. <laughs> I clicked it, the exclamation mark disappeared, but it didn't give me anything. That... Is strange. How are we doing on inventory space? Uh, 38. All right. Uh, is there anything? I doubt we've got anything better recently, right? Right. Can I just, like, sell everything and not have to go through my inventory? You all know how much I hate inventory management. Um, soldier helmet. Okay, that is slightly better, although it doesn't have the, doesn't have the maximum health up. Eh. Maybe someone else should have that. Cassandra. Uh, wait, where was the hat? 
Was it this one? Yeah, I mean, that's two up for you. So you can have that. Uh, Solus. 14. Enjoy. Uh, and Varric. None of us can wear that, because that's level 8. Yeah, okay. We can sell everything else then, right? Boop. Uh, right. Sell. Uh, we want to keep all of the high-level stuff. Uh, get rid of everything else. Actually, that might be better for her. Uh, I guess we keep the Templar shield in case that's better. That was worse. We keep the the high level stuff again, da, 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 and then we get rid of all of that. Restriction canary trained only. Hmm. Uh, goodbye, goodbye. So can I get rid of all of these? I guess I can, right? We keep these because I don't know what I'll need for crafting stuff. Uh, we get rid of all of this. And that's good. Right. Okay. Hello, friend. Need something? Uh. Is this all? This is. We've already done all this, right? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So that none of that's new. What about, uh, what about old Solus? Does he have anything new? What can I do for you? Nope, he sure doesn't. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Man, it must be really fucking cold in this winter weather. With a bald head. Uh-oh. Crowd is rowdy. Nice, we got ourselves a new song. I was hoping if I just keep walking in there, we'll get a new song every time, I think. I'm not going to always listen to it because they do take a long time. Beautiful though they are, but I'd like to collect them for my little brain to be like, yay, you've got them all. Uh, wait, this wasn't the place. It was in, it was in the Chantry was the place, not Chantry, whatever this building is. Your kind killed the most holy. Oh, die. fuck off. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain. That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. All right. And what does that mean Cullen exactly? Cullen raising just a little bit, in my estimation. Tough. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. All right. All right. Oh, hey, Leliana. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? Game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? I can't speak for Andraste. I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. Is that an elf specific dialogue? The Maker abandon us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, 
our deaths, Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Hmm. She's having a crisis of faith. My sympathies. I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me. Working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Let me help you. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Man, I love Leliana. Oh, I can't talk to her more? Boo, let me talk to her more. She's still... It's true, it's true. Butler has stand on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the report. Oh, I can't talk to him more. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Uh... Okay, shit. What? I didn't expect this. I thought we were just going to get to talk more. Do not interfere. Stop Leliana from killing the traitor agent. Encourage Leliana to kill the traitor agent. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the ramifications of this traitor being left alive would be. But if you were friends once, maybe you'll feel better about yourself if you don't kill him? Wait, what are you doing? He betrayed us. He murdered my agent. And you'd kill him, just like that. You find fault with my decision? I mean, if we can reform, that's better. We can't solve our problems with murder. And what would you suggest? Leave him be. Butler's betrayal put our agents in danger. I condemn one man to save dozens. I may not like what I do, but it must be done. I cannot afford the luxury of ideals at a time like this. Ideals are crucial. Now is precisely the time for ideals. You feel very strongly about this. <sighs> very well. I will think of another way to deal with this man. Apprehend Butler, but see that he lives. All right. I wonder what that changes. That was like now a proper. If you're happy, I have more work to That do. was like a proper big decision with the text box above it, explaining it in more detail. <laughs> like that was a major thing. Reports of fade rips and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Why do you care about mages? Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. Hero of Ferelden. And they're not. It's not right. Oh shit, okay, we can do a full-on conversation with her like the rest. Okay, I, I didn't think we could for a minute there, but yeah, we can. You're just in his left hand. They called you the left hand of the Divine. That they did? What of it? Uh, why start an Inquisition? Tell me more about Justinia. What is the left hand? What exactly does the left hand of the Divine do? A Divine always has enemies, and Justinia had more than most. I protected her. I watched, had an ear to every door. I identified threats, and I dealt with them. Why so many enemies? Why did Justinia have so many enemies? I got enemies, many got many a lot of enemies. Fit to be divine. She had a past, a worldly life. Unlike many, she wasn't given to the Chantry as a child. 
she chose it. And somehow that made her I mean, clearly it was worthy enough for the fucking election people to put her in the job. Uh Sounds like a spy master. So you were her spy master too. I handled difficult situations that couldn't be resolved through more delicate means. Uh, tell me more about her. I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets. Made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. Were you more than friends? Or is there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers. Typical. <laughs> I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Love is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, yes, it was more than friendship. How did you meet? How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine, before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest, broken, lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. We'll talk more later. Yes? Like right now. Um, okay, it was this first, right? And then they called you the there were other options the after that. That they did. What uh, why don't you join my party? I could use the left hand of the divine at my side out there. Every agent out in the world is my eyes, my ears, and my blade. Wherever my people are, I am also. Coming with you, leaving my post, would blind and bound me. Do you see? Fair. Why start an Inquisition? What is the point of an Inquisition? Justinia would have started the Inquisition if the Divine Conclave failed to restore peace. She hoped that with enough support, we could challenge the very tenets of the Chantry. She wanted the Chantry to treat the Mages fairly. But sometimes I wonder, why stop at Mages? The Chantry has committed many injustices. If we're going to change it, why not change the whole thing? Sounds good to me. None of this will be possible if we fail. Sorry she died, man. I'm sorry she didn't live to see the Inquisition. So am I. We'll talk more later. We'll talk more right now! <laughs> uh, right. Tell me about yourself. Let's talk about you. Me? Got any stories? Bards tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. How do you know she was a bard? There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. Tell me about your past. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I was a bard, an Olesian spy for many years. For a time I also served a small cloister in Lothering. After the blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal- <laughs> You're not gonna- You're not gonna mention the whole fucking thing where you were a key part of the- Defeat of the Blight? I'd like to be a bard. Can you teach me to be a bard? Being a bard is so much more than being a spy. It involves a keen understanding of politics. The ebb and flow of influence. The great game. The bards is an intricate dance where a smile can be sharper than any dagger. The best way to learn is to immerse yourself in it. Perhaps when this is all over, I'll teach you. Alright. I should leave you to your work. We can always talk later. We can talk right now! Uh, you're well connected. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends. And on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. You met the hero of Ferelden. You have a history with the Warden who entered the Blight, don't you? I count him among my closest friends. I still write to him for advice. Wait, you know where he is? Where is he? He hasn't replied to my letters in some ah. time. I try not to worry about it. Well, where do you them. send them? <laughs> where do you send the letters? Did you know Hawk? They say you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hawk twins. Bethany in particular. 
She'd spend time in meditation at the Chantry. And she seemed to like my stories. The other one, the young man, he was a little surly. I did encounter the champion again later in Kirkwall. Those were terrible times. She's the only one, isn't she? Out of all the characters, she's the only character that has met all three of the protagonists. Obviously, everything with the hero, and then she grew, like, was with Hawk early on, and then again in Kirkwall briefly, and now she knows us. I don't think anyone else, like, Anders was in Owen 2, but he's not, at least so far, in this. Uh, anyone else? Oh, Varric, obviously, in 2 and this, but he wasn't in O. I think that's it. Why were they terrible? Was this when the Chantry was destroyed? No, that happened later. But even then, the news coming out of Kirkwall was... Cassandra never met us in two, right? No. There were some in Val Rayo who wanted the Divine to declare an exalted march on Kirkwall. Justina sent me there to see if that could be avoided, to gather evidence to calm those agitating for war. I guess it didn't matter in the end. We can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Right in front of me! You need something? There was more to ask here, you right? Seem to know a great many... I have made friends. How do you know Josephine? Enemies. You seem to know Josephine quite well. I met her a long time ago. But we didn't become good friends until years later. After the blight, in fact. I'd just returned to Val Rayo, and she welcomed me back by throwing a diplomatic ball. She was the Antivan ambassador at the time, you see. The ball was... All right. Too many politicians. At midnight, Josie and I left to find a real party. We've been friends ever since. A real party? What do you consider a real party? It's not a real party until someone's small clothes are pinned to a chantry board. Oh. And that's all I'm saying about it. <laughs> we can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. I'm listening. Any updates? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Anything oh, I should know? Oh, that's the same thing. I have nothing to report. Okay, cool. Good chats. I'll leave you to your work. Good chats. Hello, Cullen. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the country. <laughs> the Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. Why can't we work together? So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might, if your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. Cullen, why is he here? Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. Is the Mage Templar War large? How widespread is the violence between Mage Fucking huge, I think. Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between Mages and Templars is renewed with interest. Who killed the Divine? The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'll return with good news. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royo. I pray you're right. Alright, Cullen's a bit better in this game so far. Little bit. Little bit. I'm I'm not forgiving him yet. But little bit better. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the chantry in Val Royo. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Oh, we can't have a full-on conversation with him? 
like the others. The peace okay. You better. We cannot have full conversations like we have with all the other characters. Oh well. At the very least, it's fun seeing him tell that dickhead to fuck off. What was in here? Oh, that was down to the cells, right. Sup. Oh, right, this is the lady we found in Hinterlands. That may be the way the Maker provides. Truths, the maker has Greetings, me, Herald of Ondrasi. How fair is your quest to seal the breach? Uh, I'm trying. I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Ondraste, but Ondraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, and though it is considered heresy to say it, she had the aid of the elf Chartin. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. Hmm. Let's say I follow Elven Gods. She's not going to like it, but I'm curious to hear what she says. You realize that I follow my people's gods, not the Maker. Fair enough. But Andraste lived, and her deeds, however shrouded by myth, have their basis in fact. If you do not believe the Chant of Light, at least consider it a map of the dangers you might face. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Uh, oh my goodness. I'd like Inquisition history. Can you tell me about the original Inquisition? The original Inquisition was formed after the First Blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters, zealots who tracked and killed cultists and dangerous mages. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors spread the chant of light by force. Hmm. It must be difficult to follow the chant of light knowing how it spread. Indeed. I have always believed that the Maker wished us to spread the chant of light. By example, not violence. In any case, once the chant of light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. The Inquisitors became the seekers of truth, and eventually the Templars. So why bring us back? This is a dark chapter of history for the Divine to revisit. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was Divine Justinia's message, that when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword away. Who will be the next Divine? Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. Hmm. Uh, how are the people? How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? How are the people at Haven? How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the Majors and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of the Divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, add the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. What help are you offering? What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, 
Many simply wish the familiar comfort of the chant of night. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. How are people elsewhere? Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Farewell. Make her go with you. There was more, right? Greetings, Herald of Andraste. Yeah, how are the people? Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? Oh, wait, no, this is what we just did. Ah, shit. Farewell. Make her go with you. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. Let's talk about the Chantry. Growing up Dalish, I heard little about your Chantry. Can you tell me about it? Of course. Too many think that the Chant of Light should only be sung by humans. The truth is that knowledge of the Maker and Andraste should be open to all who wish to learn of him. We believe the Maker created us, and that mankind's sinful nature caused him to turn away. With Andraste's blessing, the Maker will forgive mankind once the Chant of Light is sung from all corners of this world. How do you view magic? What is your stance on magic? Andraste put it simply. Magic must serve man, not rule over him. However, those words must be put into the proper historical context. Andraste led a rebellion against the Tevinta Imperium, whose magisters controlled most of the world at the time. Even then, she never called for all mages to be put to death. She believed in peaceful coexistence. The Chantry is more stringent. I don't recall the Chantry being as tolerant of magic as you describe. No. The Chantry is an imperfect vessel, pulled in every direction by those who would steer its course. Yet the Templars rebelled precisely because Divine Justinia was not restrictive enough. Perhaps the Inquisition will find a better way. Uh, why only human women? Why does the Chantry allow only human women to become priestesses? The official doctrine is that elves and dwarves have turned further from the Maker than humanity. And as for men, the chant holds that they are more vulnerable to anger. Banter! But in truth, it is simply political. Added after Andreste's death, like too many of our beliefs. If you believe that, fight. If you don't believe these restrictions are what Andraste wanted, why haven't you tried to change them? Has the current state of the world not taught you the folly of fighting too many battles at once? I chose to use what power I had to help peasants forgotten by the nobles of Orlais. I believed there would be time to address their inequality under the Chantry once we had saved them from starving. What about exalted marches? There were calls for an exalted march to put down the mage rebellion. What was your opinion? It was ignorant gossip. An exalted march only succeeds when it carries the will of the people. Even then, it cannot be undertaken lightly. People are too easily frightened. We cannot destroy everything they fear. An exalted march is justified only against a true threat to this whole world. It is an offense to the Mecker to use it as a political bludgeon or as a means of spreading the chant of light. A march destroyed the Dales. A pity voices like yours were not louder when an exalted march crushed my people. That is a hotly debated matter in some circles of the Chantry. Your people had conquered Montsemerd and threatened Valreo itself. They were not helpless victims. But even then, Orle was the only nation to provide troops. It was hardly an exalted march of all the faithful. The Maker wishes his world to spread by example, not by war. We win no converts with blood. Goodbye. Was there any Farewell. more? Farewell. One more check. We turn. Okay, no, that was just the thing we've already done. So can I help with anything? Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. 
All right. Farewell. Until next time. I mean, I have picked up a bunch of stuff, so maybe I can immediately do that. Let's see. Oh yeah, in fact, it just showed up on the right. I I do have the stuff, so. Uh, healing mixture, bada bing, bada boom. Lovely jubbly. I really like that little blue thing that comes around me. It is nice. Uh, cutscene? I wasn't expecting cutscene. The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her What's life. What's with the stupid the mask? Magic of the bridge. Mistress Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durelion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Hmm. You own this land? This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelda. We were honored to lend its use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Well, you're gonna just have to fucking cope and seethe about that, because we're not leaving. Uh... Its followers need shelter. People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> not sure how I feel about her outfit. It's <laughs> a dark time, Your Grace. That is very Divine extra. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact. Trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Does he own it? Do the Durelions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durelions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. Uh, sorry for interrupting. You handled him well. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. How did you become ambassador? May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What's your background? What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orlais. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. Well, I'm glad you're here. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Well, can we chat with you some more? Greetings. Oh boy, yes we can. Here we go again. How did you meet Leliana? How do you and Leliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Orlais. I believe we actually met in Val Royale. Leliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? 
we of course know, but let's ask anyway. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but our legions are fond of playful touches. Uh, tell me about yourself. Wait, what? Did I click the wrong thing? What business are the Montilliers in exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. Once? But not anymore. Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. Uh, tell me about your work. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. Are you doing this for Antiva? How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Will we have others? Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these ones to those in need. Do you believe I'm holy? Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the fate who saved you... Pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's Light. But I'm not going to tell Let's people otherwise. Later. Another time. Greetings. Uh, what are your duties? What exactly does your job entail? I meet with ambassadors from various factions and countries and cement alliances with them. We are a young cause. Diplomacy is essential to our credibility. So you're a representative? Then you speak for the Inquisition with these nobles. I do. Someone must foster goodwill on our behalf. As well as prevent controversy as news of us spreads. Are we that controversial? How heavily are our actions scrutinized? Make no mistake. Every noble house, every throne, is waiting to see what the Inquisition does next. Many are willing to pledge support, if offers are made in just the right fashion. I intend to see that they are. What brought you here? Tell me how you came to work for the Inquisition again. I'd been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge when Leliana recruited me. There's such unrest in Thedas, and the Inquisition seems a promising method to stop it. It's to everyone's benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading further. Is order why you signed on? So was it the prospect of stability that drew you here? The full impact of the Mage Rebellion has yet to be felt. And that was before the death of the Divine. The violence must be curbed before we see it turn to full-scale war. I'm pretty sure it already has turned to full-scale war. Uh, but I agree. I can only imagine the bloodshed if it escalates further. I'm afraid history holds many examples of what will happen if it does. Anything to report? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. How are our guests? Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated dark spawns, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. Good day to you. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on Uh, what about our allies? We must. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? Uh, what about our mages? Oh god, this is this isn't a question mark, so I'm gonna have to go through the whole conversation each time to get each of these. Oh, Solus? What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. Oh, even though it's not a question mark, we can still do more. Uh, let's talk about Cullen. Commander Cullen came to mind. The commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I wouldn't go so and far as intelligent. Charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. 
Cassandra? I was thinking of Cassandra. Seeker Pentagas is a princess of the Kingdom of Nevada, although that barely seems important to her. She was not interested. She doesn't give off princess vibes, does she? <laughs> relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. Uh, and what about Varric? I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. He actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. My friends would be sick with envy if they knew. It's excellent, but a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. Only. <laughs> Let's speak later. Farewell. All right. My goodness, we've done a lot of chatting in this part. Hello. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. It's odd to see them accepting a mage as their hero. Especially a Dalish elf. One look at your face and it's clear you were never part of his circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker Pentagast and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. Uh, I found something for you. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Cool, cool. You've brought back some fascinating things. We're putting them to good use. So you're a mage? You said you were a mage? No, just an apprentice. Circle mages must prove themselves in a ritual called the Harrowing. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Of course. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in. Along with the Tranquil, I was protecting. Uh, you didn't join the rebels? I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the veil. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. Uh, oh, is this a, this is a Dalish exclusive option, I assume that picture means? A pity you aren't Dalish? You might have done well among the Dalish. Our mages are encouraged to study safely. Fenner will take the Dalish. Don't let my lack of Valisleen fool you, Lethley. I was a proud member of my clan until my magic manifested. You know what happens when they have too many mages. But they gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. I was seven years old. Jesus, that's awful. I'm so sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. You protected, protected the Tranquil? You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquil safe. Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the Tranquil, or try to pretend they don't exist. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves. Can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. Huh. <laughs> They're lucky to have you. I'm glad they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite. They're rational. And they'll never get angry. Well, yeah, because the Templars have literally Starting fucking have forcefully focus, ripped their emotions out of them. person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never... Making them Tranquil in the first that. place is mistreatment. Doesn't really matter now. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. But at the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. So much of this world is only frightening because we don't understand it. Good chat. I'll speak with you later. Thank you again for what you've brought back. Turn in all our research. Oh, we got a level out of that. Lovely. Uh, is there anything else we could turn in? Please tell me if you find something. I will. Wow, we just got a whole shitload of influence out of that, huh? Find 
Wait, did we just get a second level, or is that... Damage bonus against humanoids. Uh, damage bonus against demons. Damage bonus against humanoids again. Uh, codex updated for shade. Codex updated for fucking lots of things. Another damage bonus against demons. Uh, there we go. Okay, anything, that was all of it. Uh, so we got a level. Um, we are going down the left-hand side of this tree, aren't we? Dispel. Uh, yes. Use on an incapacitated foe for a combo. I'm not entirely sure what incapacitated looks like, necessarily. Like, does it just mean any? Like, if they're frozen, does that count as incapacitated? Like, if they're stunned, does that count as incapacitated? If they're paralyzed, does that count as incapacitated? Not entirely sure. Uh, does everyone else also have a point? Nope. It was just me. Okay. Uh, right. Well, that was a whole lot, huh? What was in here again? Fucking nothing. Fucking nothing. You built for them the golden Summon War Council. Of all creation. And for a time you dwelled among them. Watched over them. As a gardener watches the earth for the first signs of life. Alright, shut up, mate. <laughs> uh, I think this is the only thing left to do, right? Let's summon the War Council. 